Hi, I'm Mike from RMI Golf Carts. We're here today to kind of go over charger, uh, diagnosing chargers or people having problems with chargers. People are calling in all the time. So we're going to go through a few steps. Uh, one of the things that, that you will need is a voltage meter that has a, has a buzzer. When you put the two together, you're going to hear the buzzer. That way we can do continuity. One of the things, first thing you got to do is tear the, uh, the top off. I've already taken the screws out, so it's pretty easy. Grab the sides, give it a pop, and she'll come right off. We've got a charger plugged in. First thing we're going to do is look inside the end of the, the charger handle. There's a little clip. They wear and get pushed in, and what you need to do is pull it back out to ground it to the post. That's the first thing you look at. Then we're going to plug it in. This is our charger bench. Normally it plugs into the cart. You're going to plug it in and see if it comes on. This one is, is on. We've already looked at it. But the next step you're going to do is the cord drift down. People have a tendency to yank on the cord. You want to lift up on the cord. Take it different ways. If this charger wasn't coming on, if it came on, you know you have a bad connection here. So <clears throat> you want to unplug that. Take your meter. First thing you're going to do here is unplug your juice. If you've got a bad fuse, you're going to test it there. Obviously, this was good. If it's bad, it wouldn't it wouldn't beep. The next thing you're going to do is ground the heat sink board. Touch a diode. Touch another diode. If it beeped, that diode's bad. So we know that these are good. EasyGo does not make this board anymore. If the dial is bad, you've got to replace them both with these parts. And the part number is 18488G1. And you'll need to replace them both. The fuse number, brand new fuse, is 28106G01. That's for that 50 amp fuse. The other thing we're going to look at is the board. This is an old style board. You have the board here, the board here. The new boards <coughs> replace this board. So some of these wires you will not use. If you're not too sure if the board's good or bad, just take a screwdriver, plug it back in, go between these two wires, and she comes on. If that happens, you know that board's bad. If this is good, these are good, and you do that, you know the board's bad. On it, if you plug it in, nothing comes on. Those are going to be your three things you're going to look at when looking at a charger. If nothing else works here, then you're going to have to do the continuity between these posts and these to make sure that you've got connection. Which post was that over there? This is the positive. Oh, this is negative here. But that's positive, and this is the negative line coming in. All you're doing is making sure that you got connection to here. The other most important thing, we talked about the wire being bad down there. Got to find it here first. Is this little wire here? This is the little wire. See. This is the little wire that's inside this handle and that belongs to that little clip. And you just reach in and touch that little clip. We know we're good. A lot of the trouble is in this handle right here. If you do not have continuity there, you've got to rewire this handle. So once we've figured all that out, then it's just a process of elimination of what, what is wrong. If the fuse is good, the diode is good, then it's going to be a board. All the new boards replace this board here. So the two orange and the orange and brown wire you won't use anymore. All you're going to have is a black and a red wire here. Say that again down there. The orange and the brown wire on the old style boards you won't use anymore. 
you just shove them up here. It goes to this board up here. You're laminating this board and going with the new board, the single board. And other than just fixing the the bad spots, you can take this off, pull it in, clean it up, and you're back in business. So that's it, huh? That is it. So tell us the part numbers again that you may need to use. The uh, the fuse is a 28106 G01. The diodes are 18488G1. And the most common board that you're going to find is a 28667G01. And there you have it. Thanks, Mike.